patching the SDT and SSDT will fail drastically in the comp compilation if you don't disassemble the ACPI table correctly. So follow the instruction from Rehab Man on patching on the guide of patching the SDT and SSDT. So I'm going to follow his instruction right now and I'm going to get this one done correctly. So the most important thing is that we have to go and download the latest one from Rehab Man. And read carefully. So I'm going to do this one since I already done it. So maybe it's easier for you. First, we need to use Patchmatic. And after you get a Patchmatic, you will get a folder if you follow exactly the same instruction here you will get a folder with all of his extraction the next one you want to do is follow and you need to go to get the latest ACPI download okay ISL zip and you also need to get the Mac IESL also. Also, on this one, I have some problem, so we have to use the ref text. So, reference text, I put these three in there, which is in here look and when you do the disassemble it will work perfectly actually we can do with this one it doesn't matter which one so this is the one I get from um, read write everything it should work okay so now we do so this assemble uh, ACPI is so important. So CD, okay, Dell ACPI. This is the BIOS 9th A9. Okay, so we're in here. So do exactly as he said. See, so look at this. I copy user bin, so it should be there. So when you're done with that, copy the whole thing like this, okay? Just follow the instruction. Some people can't follow instruction. That's why they got problem. So look at this. Go. See? With a DL. Come out. Perfectly. So now I look. All my DSL is here. See that? Now this one right here, you open it up. Normally if you compile, you got problem right away, but now you got zero error. Look at this one. DSDT, where is it? You compile, you have no error. See that? You disassemble correctly. So follow Rehab Man instruction and read carefully. All right? You should not have any problem with the SDT patching. So let's start with the SDT first. But normally, what we want to do is I always duplicate this one. So I call this DSDT1. And let's open it up. Where is it? So first we compile and see if we got any problem. No problem there. 
So the first one we want to patch for this one, it has now before we do this one, you should change the MAC address to make it unique to your laptop. Okay. So I think this one, if you do it right, you can get the um, iMessage and everything correct. So let's do that. And compile. No error. That's nice. So save. And I also save it as no. Okay. So now I'm going to open the DS1. So I'm going to open it again. Not this one. The other one. Alright. So we're going to patch the next one is a PNLF. So Brighton Fix, Haswell and Bartwell. Use this one. Apply. And compile. One error. Object not found accessible scope. So I'm going to command it out. And compile. So zero error now. The battery is automatically work, so I don't really need to patch the battery at all. So it's really good. So wake zero V two. So I'm gonna use this. I know it works. Six. So close. So compile. Zero error. H S P E T. Okay. Apply. So compile. Now to S. I R Q. So we did the RRQ, so we do RTC. SM bus so now we want to patch the instant wake so this laptop has a 06D so we're gonna do apply is the keyboard since I already uh, figured it out Q1D and Q1C
So we see two changes, that's the correct one. Alright, so let's continue. So we're almost done. So now we can do audio layout 3. What I want to patch is B0D3 to HDAU. So let's do that. GFX to our GPU. So when we do this, we also need to patch the SSDT. Let's duplicate duplicate this one. So now we can do rename, apply, and then we're going to change the name also, GFX, apply. Now we're going to compile. Nine errors. So the problem with this one, you still have the B0D3. So what we need to do is to rename all of them to HDA0. So what we're going to do is this. B zero D three and then we're going to replace with SDAU. Okay. So now we compile. Zero error. All right. Yep, good. This one compile. Wow, this one got a lot of problems. Syntax error. So this one's easy. So this one right here, package 06, it looks like it's all duplicate. Oh, you have to get this one all the way down to here. So now it should be gone. Done. I'm going to put in. EFI, Clover, ACPI, so we're going to create a new patch. patch. Now we're going to put all the one we just did. So after we put all the patch 
uh, ACPI that we did SSDT and DSDT we have to put them in the config file so in the config file the DSDT name we can use the one that we want to use with the uh, HDAU for the HDMI and the SSDT name them all correctly sorted 